Well, I've come down with a group of other parliamentarians of all parties and in the House of Lords as well as part of the Armed Forces Parliamentary Scheme. This is a scheme which brings parliamentarians together to learn more about the armed forces around the world. But coming to the Falkland Islands is part of that, but also a very special trip uh, for us as well. One of the primary purposes of the visit is to look at the three uh, parts of our armed forces, how they work together. And actually around the world, uh, this is probably the best place to, to witness that. We've had an opportunity also to meet with members of the Assembly and with the government to learn about some of the pressing issues they're having to deal with. We also met with the Business Development Corporation and we have, as you might say, we've got some lists, lists of ideas of things that they would like us to consider, uh, important issues to do with uh, economic ties, uh, important issues to do with uh, cultural association and, and some, some things that perhaps might seem minor and admittedly they presented this. These are minor issues in the big scale of things but for individual families here in the Falkland Islands uh, they're very very important uh, issues and, and so we, we've, we've taken those on board, we'll go back and we will try and do the best we can uh, to make some of those improvements for the families here. The overseas territories are part of the history of the United Kingdom but they're also part of the present and the future. There's a strong connection. And I think unless parliamentarians from the United Kingdom get the opportunity to visit the overseas territories, we'll sort of not have that sense of how we are a family together. And this trip is part of creating that bond between the different parts of the family.